Hello everyone, David here and today we're gonna take a look at every Wookiee minifigure ever made. The return of minifig collections has been requested countless times, so here we are starting off with a rather small one. That includes every Chewbacca minifig as well as all the other Wookiees that came out over the years since the beginning of LEGO Star Wars in 1999. There are 14 different Wookiees if you count this micro figure. We're gonna take a look at the Wookiees in chronological order of their release date and I'm gonna show you the sets they came in as well as the current selling prices for the minifix in new condition. But before we get started, if you wanna build any of the models you see here for yourself, head on over to our web store www.brickvault.toys where we sell high quality instructions and parts lists. We work together with some of the most talented designers on the planet to bring you the best and most accurate LEGO models. We build and test each model ourselves, so all of our instructions have been troubleshot and parts lists have been checked for pricing and availability of the parts. Yeah, that is www.brickvault.toys or click the link in the description below. Now back to the video. The first Wookiee we're gonna take a look at is none other than the original Chewbacca himself. The only print this guy has is the ammo belt and a black dot for the nose. This is actually the original brown color that was used before LEGO introduced the color reddish brown and he's the only minifig in this collection to use this color. He came out in these three sets and first appeared in the year 2000 in the original Millennium Falcon, which looked really trashy, but I love it for that. And it was included in a minifigure pack too. The last time this minifig was included in a set was in 2003. You can get him in new condition on Bricklink starting at 6 bucks. Second on the list is this guy. He is basically the same minifig as before, but now comes in the newer reddish brown color and he was introduced in the year 2004 and was actually in production for 12 years. He came in these 13 sets. The last one was released in 2016. Because of his wide availability, he is now worth around 4 bucks new. Our third minifig on the list is our first Wookiee that isn't Chewbacca and his name is Wookiee Warrior. He has a new mold for the head and body piece and features some additional printing for the ammo belts and the gold headdress. He came in just two sets but damn those were some pretty epic ones from 2005. If you want to get this minifig new you're gonna have to pay around six dollars. The next minifig on the list is actually not a minifig but Lego calls it a microfig and it's none other than the one and only Chewbacca again. He fits on one start and came out in this weird board game set in 2012, you can get him for 5 bucks. On to the next minifigure and it's Chewbacca again, but he now has a completely new mold for his head and body piece. The printing on the face and fur is dark tan and we have some really nice additional face details printed on him. He is actually the minifigure that was included in the most sets on this list, 17 to be exact, and he is actually still in production today. He's a really common fig that came out in the year 2014 and you can get him for just 2 dollars. Chief Tafel was a really nice fig from the year 2014. I actually thought for a long time that he is actually female, but I guess there don't exist any female Wookiees in the Star Wars universe, at least not in the widespread media. Regardless, this minifig has some pretty cool printing for the shoulder pads and reds on the back. He was included in two sets and is now worth $10 new. The next fig is just called Wookiee and was released in the year 2015 in just one set. What sets him apart from the next fig is the arm printing on his left arm. Despite his rarity, he is also only worth $10. Box. Next one is also a Wookiee, who would have thought, and the only difference to the last one is the missing arm print. He came in a micro fighter in 2016 and you can get him for $5. Next up is a more unique minifigure. Apparently this is Chewbacca, but he's all white and has some Christmas decorations replacing the ammo belt. He's still quite cheap though at $6 in new condition and appeared in the 2016 advent calendar. For this next minifig we finally get a new Wookiee mold. It's young Chewbacca with goggles and additional molding for his beefier ammunition belts and a pouch. He came in just one set in 2018 from the Zolo movie and is worth about $10. This next guy has the same molding but is now missing the goggles and he's actually in the base color reddish brown instead of the dark brown color from before. He came out in two sets in 2018, one of them actually being a Comic Con exclusive. The fact that he came in a regular set too makes him not exclusive at all though. He's still the most expensive fig on the list and you can get your hands on him for $16 brand new. Now in 2019 we go back to the previous Wookiee mold with this guy. His name is also Wookiee Warrior and he appeared in this one ATRT set. He has some different printing for his legs and fur and this minifig goes for around $8. 
This Chewbacca is basically the same minifig as the fig released in 2014, with the only difference being the leg print, which is now dark tan instead of medium nougat like the face fur. He was not included in any regular sets, but was actually included in five books that came out in the years 2020 to 2022. That makes him rather common too, and you can get him for $10. Now the last minifigure on this list is a Chewbacca again. He is basically the same fig as the last one, but now he has snow scattered all over him. Fittingly, he appeared in the Hoth ATSD set from last year and the fact that he is still in production makes him not rare or expensive at all at 5 bucks. So that wraps it up. 14 Wookiee minifigs over the span of 23 years. This minifig went through some pretty welcoming changes over the years, but generally he's a really cheap minifig, but still a fun collection to take a look at in my opinion. So this was my first video of this kind on this channel, so let me know of any constructive criticism in the comments below and also let me know what other collection videos you'd want to see. Of course, don't forget to like and subscribe, ring the bell icon and check out the link in the description for some epic instructions and we'll see you next time at Quickboard.